In this video, we're going to discuss why full self-driving is going to happen in 2025. This is MXUX. You know, in my last video, I made some predictions about the Tesla stock price and uh, also some of the work going on the Optimus robot and the Cyber Taxi. And I just wanted to do this presentation here to show you some of my backup research on why I do think that number is accurate. It basically confirms with Kathy Wood, who is much smarter than me, obviously. But uh, I'm going to go over some information I gleaned from um, the Leopold guy who defected from uh, uh, the AI company and wrote the um, paper, A Situational Awareness, about the state of AI. Now here is the uh, prediction that was made, uh, $712 a share by 2025 with a 100% increase year over year to 2600 Now you have to keep in mind that we're basing this, uh, this increase in market cap on the Optimus robot deployment and also in full self-driving deployment along with um, cyber taxi. Now you got to understand Elon Musk was one of the founders of, of uh, chat GDP, GTP. He wanted to keep it open source. They, they backstabbed him. We went to uh, uh, XI, XAI, okay? He's also developed his own compute stack of, you know, two billion dollar GPUs uh, at Tesla to do self-driving and the Optimus robot. So Keeping all that in mind, that Musk is from San Francisco and one of the founders of AI. We're going to go into this Leopold paper on AI. Now this is an essay written by the guy who uh, bugged out of um, OpenAI because uh, he didn't like what was going on. And this is about the near future of uh, artificial intelligence. And it's called Situational Awareness. It's a very good essay. I don't know, I think it's 150 pages long. I've gleaned a, a few charts out of this here to illustrate my point as to why 2025, keeping in mind that Musk is one of the founders of AI, 2025 is the year where a lot of critical things are going to happen at Tesla. Let's just move on to this and see some quotes and information from this essay. Now this is in the very introduction of the paper and this I believe is a quote that you could insert the name Lee, uh, Elon Musk right in the middle of this because Elon Musk is one of the founders of uh, the company that this guy was working for. And you can read this quote yourself, but when he says there's only a few hundred people that have true situational awareness of artificial intelligence, you've got to understand that Elon Musk is one of these people. He financially backed OpenAI uh, years ago, five years ago, six years ago, I think, maybe, maybe more than that. And this this is who Leopold is talking about in this paragraph right here. Now this graphic here just gives you a sense of scale on how fast AI is advancing. Over a period of four years, it went from being a preschooler, like a kindergarten kid, all the way up to a high school graduate on the way to college. Now that's in four years. Okay, that would have taken you, what, uh, 16 years? Okay, this is the rate of change, the accelerated rate, rate of change that's going on with AI, and this is why things are working the way they are. Now it seems like things are moving really fast, especially within Tesla and uh, within uh, Tesla about uh, full self driving. But but that last graphic was gives you an idea and you say well how could it happen so fast that is how it can happen so fast this is what we're looking at is an accelerated accelerating rate of change okay and 
people are saying, oh, it's going to take 10 years to roll out self-driving. It's going to take five years. It's not going to take that long. Uh, once uh, we really get into this compute stack and the AI model is training the AI model, which I believe Musk is doing right now. I don't think he's talking about it, but I think he's doing that. And I think I mentioned George Hotz in the last uh, uh, iteration of this video, and uh, I think he had something to do with that. But uh, let me just go into these charts now. We're going to go into these charts, and we're going to talk about why this year, 2025, which is next year, is going to be responsible for rolling all this stuff out and this great change in uh, the new book, as uh, Musk says, for Tesla. The new book. Not the new chapter, the new book. Now, if you look at this first chart, it's basically, in my interpretation, is the utilization of hardware, specifically uh, NVIDIA compute stacks, which Elon Musk spent two billion dollars we don't even know what he's running over there okay he's moving those uh, nvidia cards around so much between his different companies but if you look at this it's a forecast line uh you got a cone shaped blue there and you got a line in the middle and that's the expected rate of change and then the top of that blue cone is the upper limit of that change uh, and the bottom of that blue cone is the lower limit, so it's a it's a it gives you a, a degree of um, uh, outcome there. If you look at 2025 and draw a line straight up, you can see that the normal curve hits the upper expected range of that capability right at 2025. I believe this is where it is the closest. To the maximum range and this is the first and the highest uh, employment of compute power or use of compute power utilization of compute power in this entire curve and this is why 2025 is so critical this is when all the pieces are going to fit together hardware software data so forth 2025 and it's shown in this graph and if you see 2030, the graph flattens, which means gains are going to be much harder after 2030. Now, if you take a look at this chart, again, by 2025, we are halfway, we are past the chat GTP phase. We are halfway to AI training AI. And I suspect, actually, that Elon Musk uh, may have a very streamlined model and I think his model is actually uh, doing this now but in any case uh, 2025 puts us you can see that bottom range for that outcome uh, we're about 50% of the way there so this is a big advancement you can see on the left side it says uh, I think 10 to the fourth uh, um, power um, orders of magnitude improvement so uh, again 2025 and again you can see that forecast line is very close to the upper end of that outcome that blue cone again an optimum range for that value so this again um, puts 2025 as as a really critical period in my mind now the point of this chart is just shows that uh, according to leopold the 2027 is the year that they cross over into ai training ai and i'm just using this as an illustration and he has the outcome being super intelligence there um now 2027 is not that far away and I'm, i think certainly that uh, Tesla is on that schedule. However, I think uh, because the training of this AI model is not language-based, it's video-based, because they have so much data and because they've been working on it and they have the compute power, Elon Musk said in the presentation, we are not compute restrained, we are outcome constrained, we don't have enough interventions to train the model. 
I do believe that Musk, uh, I think early, by 2025, he's going to hit or has already hit, is knocking on the door of AI training AI. And I think his models are, are doing some form of that right now, maybe a rudimentary form of that. But this is the breakthrough for uh, full self-driving and the road to super intelligence. But again, I just wanted to, to give you an idea of these time frames. And uh, Leopold is a, uh, you know, he's an academician, he's a PhD and so forth, not a businessman. He doesn't have insights into what Musk is doing. So I think he could be wrong on this, and I think Musk is there. Okay, uh, just to wrap this up, I did one more thought on that last chart. You know, uh, the, the, the quickest advent of that outcome of the AI training AI is 2026. Okay, if you look at the left-hand band of that cone, 2026. Okay, we're basically, we're six months away from 2025 here. Um, I am willing to bet, and if you review my last video or go through the shareholder presentation by Musk yourself, listen to all the breadcrumbs, all the ad lib comments he's made uh, regarding training and, and AI and so forth. Um, I do believe he has beaten that timeline. I do believe that. Um, He's moved that forward, uh, and he's probably doing some rudimentary version of AI training AI right now, and he's gonna gonna be pulling into the full stop uh, AI training AI in uh, next year, and um, if not already, and I do think that um, Elon Musk said, just plot the dots on the curve. This is the same thing that Leopold said in this presentation. Uh, so um, I think that uh, Leopold's a really smart guy and he's done a lot of work on this, but you gotta understand, Musk was there first. <laughs> I mean, he's uh, Neil Armstrong, you know, he planted the flag on the AI moon first. He's the one that uh, got the ball rolling. He wanted to keep everything open source. But anyway, I do think that uh, this paper by Leopold and uh, this eye-opening data gives you insights into why uh, I think my forecast for the next year on the price of the stock, of course, there's, I, I could be wrong. I'm no expert. But it does jive with Kathy Wood, and this does back up Kathy Wood's thesis as well. This is MXUX. I just wanted to put this out there for discussion.